Hello, hello, this is Dominic Whiskers with episode 7.0 of FTL. Oh my gosh, I'm so discombobulated right now. Uh, so today, we were going to be playing with the Osprey, but see, I accidentally kind of did a playthrough with the Osprey in normal, oops, and um, I didn't record it, and I ended up uh, beating the game. Yeah, so, uh, super, super fun. So, I think this might be the ship that would win us the game again. So, instead, I'm going to save this ship for the last episode of the normal series. And instead, today, we will play, be playing with the Nisos. Uh, so, we have shields, engines, O2, weapon control with dual lasers, and the Leto missiles, medbay, piloting, sensors, doors, and the artillery beam. Now this thing charges on its own as long as um, it's powered, the more power in it, like the less time it takes it to charge, uh, and then it'll release a devastating beam upon the enemy. Super, super fun. Uh, it's really helpful later game. Uh, we've got this Zoltan and we have the slugs. Okay, a slug. Now, the slugs, uh, they are immune to mind control, and they are able to reveal, like, enemy locations in the ship, like, or when sensors don't work. So, let's say we're in a nebula, and we don't have any sensors, and we get boarded, uh, we will know where they are, because the slug will tell us. I'll show you when it happens. Uh, let's rename this. To, uh, oh, Pike ship. Pike's ship. Nope, doesn't, no apostrophe. Uh, cool. Okay. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. Only supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Take a shuttle and grab as much metal as you can. Okay, okay, let's save the crew spots. Let's do this, don't need that. And we have an extra bar. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, distress, because that's the only beacon that we can go to. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings illegally crushed between two large rocks and must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Uh, if I do this, there's a chance I think that the rocks will go all over and possibly hit me. If I do this, there's a chance that a pirate ship will jump in and I'll have to fight it. I mean, it wouldn't be too difficult. Or I can just do this and get free stuff, so I'll just do that. Uh, let's go here because that's the only beacon that we can go to. Dear like freighters floating near a beacon, it could contain something valuable. Let's salvage it. Uh, transmission going on seems to. Oh, darn. Okay. I mean, I still got free stuff, so. I could go in here, go into the nebula, and delay the rebels a little bit. Uh, results? No, darn. Let's head here. Okay. Manda ship hails you through the storm. These are sacred orc. A tag hunting nag uh, I don't know hunting grounds you are prey shields up okay uh are you gonna teleport over here oh you are gonna teleport over here and then you're gonna try and mug me okay well I can't have that let's take out the weapons yes I should have taken out the shields ah eh, no matter fire everything you're kidding me! You're actually kidding me! How many shots did you miss? Oh, let's get you out of here. Yeah, you can finish him off. Okay, fire on that. Oh wow, you can actually hit stuff. I didn't know you could actually hit stuff. Okay, just keep piloting the ship, mate. Uh, let's take out their clone bay. Oh, the clone bay, um, it's cool, it kind of, uh, okay, how do I explain this? So, the clone bay, you can't 
take your person, your damaged person, and walk into the room with the clone bay, and they'll get healed. No. If the person dies and the clone bay is on, then the clone bay will just automatically recreate your person. I mean, he'll have a little bit of a, a skill disadvantage, I think. Let's say he, he like leveled up in any of these, then he would have a little bit less than the maximum. Uh, yeah, and then there's passive jump healing. Where every time you jump to a different beacon, you automatically get healed. Oh, uh, let's get you back here. Uh. Oh yeah, and this is what it looks like when you have the slug and the enemies are in the ship. Oh, wait. I, I'm stupid. I wasted a missile. Okay. Well. Kapow. Uh, let's go here. Oh, I should have healed him up. Prepare for a fight. Okay. Ooh, I got no O2 because of the plasma storm. It reduces my reactor. I mean, I could take, uh, yeah, I could take something out of, like, my shields. Yeah, I could take my shields out and then I could get my O2 working, but I'm not gonna. Come on, miss, miss, miss! Oh, okay. One miss. I'll take it. Let's fire and miss. What? Oh, I guess you have an upgraded, uh, shields. Okay. Uh, fire again. Before he fires. Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, let's take out the piloting. That should work. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. And the artillery beam should be firing very, very soon. Got their shields. And lastly, take out their engines. BC, why not? <sighs> there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, nice. Oh, a store. Uh, go here. Then I get my oxygen back up because my ox. Oh, yes. <sighs> Super fun. Totally not boring. Oh yeah, and then I, got, I have the bonus bar. I don't know what I should do with that. <sighs> Gosh darn rebel AI satellites. I hate them. You know, I forgot to heal this guy up again. That's unfortunate. Might as well put this in here. Uh, throw that in here. Ooh, and it breached. Now, AI turrets and, like, uh, the auto scouts and all that stuff, they all have auto repair on, so if you damage a system, eventually it will repair itself. Um, but if there's a breach in the room, it can't repair it, because on a regular ship, like, with regular characters, I think, yeah, I think it's based off of this, if there's a breach in a room and a damaged system, then the breach has to be fixed before the damaged system. Um, yeah, and then I, I guess AI can't repair breaches, and if they can't repair breaches, then they can't repair the actual system. Oh, let's finish this. Get in here. Beautiful. Uh, I don't blame you. Yas. Hmm. As soon as possible, we do need a double shield layer. I mean, we should be fine for a little bit, but it'll eventually start to hurt. Okay, let's head down here, and then the store, and then exit. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, right, we can use a small one-man shuttlecraft that says straight for you, repeated hails, you'll know response, you've got a strange feeling about this. Have our slugs see what this is about. It is unmanned, Captain. I do not sense anyone, but this does not seem right. I advise caution. You said to take the advice and move on. Okay, it's probably got like a, a border party in it, and that's annoying. I hate borders, especially with this setup, because I don't really have any anti-border um, defenses. Ooh, uh, I could get a mantis or a rock man. Who? I think I'm. Yeah, I, I was just talking about borders, and a mantis is really good for anti-borders, for anti-border tactics, yeah, 
that. Save spots. Let's head over to the exit. Burnt out ship husks indicate a recent battle at this long range fruit node. The relay itself shows signs of sabotage. Internal explosions have ripped broad holes into the structure's shimmering hull. A pawnbroker set up a shop at this obscure beacon. He might be offering something worth looking at. That's a pretty good deal. I might as well take it, even though. Yeah, I'll take it. You know, just. Okay, so we can go to Hillside 12 or the four outposts. This might be a pirate sector, and if that is a pirate sector, then first thing that I might see is an anti-ship battery firing upon me at the, quote, toll booth, end quote. But, uh, yeah, I'll head down here, because this is not a pirate outpost. Unless they changed, like, civilian outposts, um... Or now, pirate, I don't know. Uh, use it under Zoltan territory. The species did not re for giving anything for nothing. But you can always be assured a fair hearing. Okay, uh, socialize. But the mantis. Oh, okay. Cool. You're mean. Yeah, by the end of the sector, we'll have two shield bubbles. I have the location of distress call. A small cargo ship hails you. Shiny! Glad you are not another- SHINY! Yeah, okay. Glad you are not another pirate. We were ambushed by some outlaws and our shield power couplers were damaged beyond repair. We have energy, but can't get our shields st stabilized properly. If this comes to another fight, they will be totally defenseless this way. Let's just energize those shields, mate. The cargo ship seems a little bare, sorry, but we don't have any scrap to spare. All we can give you is part of our cargo. This, stu this stuff does not sell particular well, particularly well anywhere. No particular, I don't know, but it's still worth quite a bit. Ooh, synth textiles. Are these the, are these basic? No, oh, they're very basic. Okay, so they're very cheap. And they're not gonna get me much anywhere. Uh, ooh. I might as well do it and get some scrap. Oh dear. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let's get you out of here. Uh, turn off the O2. Get rid of that, guys. Please, 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 please. Ah, oh no, please. Okay, so they'll fix that up. The fire will go out there. Close that, get in there. And Mr. Mantis, you. Oh my god. The Vantas are so bad at repairing them. Oh wait, did, yeah, I forgot to do that. Let's clutch this. There we go. Oh my gosh, no. From Captain Pierce on the screen, I thought we had doomed to back order assignments. This is my chance to get back in command's code graces, charge the weapons. Nope, you're all gonna die. And I've got no shields, this is not good. Okay, uh, wow. Get down there, ASAP. Okay, so I've got a 20% chance. Uh, let's fire in the shield. Okay. One miss, that's good. The oxygen is out though, which is unfortunate. Yes, yes, good, good, okay. And their bomb was completely pointless. Just like, ow. Ooh, and their little uh, the weapons room is on fire. That's good. They do have their shields up, but the pulsar will take them down. There we go. And check out my weapons and my artillery. Okay, that's what? Oh no. Um. Okay. Okay. Wait, this is not good. Yeah, my oxygen. I forgot. Okay. Uh, he's very low. I don't want to lose my mantis already. Okay, uh... Okay, fix that up, fix that up, fix that up! Thank you, okay. Get over here. Get over here. Nope. What? How are you so bad? Uh, this is almost charged. Or not almost, but somewhat. Uh, that. fire 
Oh, you're trying to escape, are you? Nope. Bad. Nice, nice, okay. Uh... Other clone bay saved them. Fire. Oh, it, this, this also works, okay, yeah. Uh, let's heal up our guys. No, you finish, you finish that. You damaged, you guys are damaged. Get back there. Get back there. And you get back there. Uh, head over here. Oh, there's still a little bit of ion in my way. Oh. oh, oh. Really now, there's just a little confusion. Right, okay. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? Mini beam and ion. Uh, we just gotta kill this shield as fast as possible. Okay, that's not good. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. They're just stuck in there. How about we turn off the oxygen maybe? No, it won't let me. Anyway, we have no oxygen now. Nope, okay, stop them. Stop these fools. Oh my gosh. These people are ruining me. Uh will we get down here? You get in there. Okay, now we're just gonna suffocate them. Wait a second. Is this gonna work? Wait, the O2. Oh no, wait, okay. Uh if they ask for surrender, I'm just gonna give it to them. No, please, no, please. Da -ha -ha -ho. I hope you all explode. Because you're all Zoltan, so you're all gonna die. I hate you. I hate you all. Oh, no! Uh... Okay, these guys are dead. I swear. Oh, no. Oh, let's get you out of here. Fire in the shield. Okay, we got one more. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so let's close all these doors. Gotta get rid of the hacking ASAP so we can break into here and uh, fix that. Yes, okay, good. You two, let's clutch this. Uh, just stay in. Okay, he's got 21 health. Night 17? Okay. Okay. Ooh! Whoa, wait. You bested us of only your species efforts were put to improving the galaxy rather than your military rank. That's a really good offer for Sector 2. You know, I'll add, I mean, I was kind of getting the upper hand, but, you know, I'm not gonna die in Sector 2, right? The, fa the past few days, I've been, like, kind of improving my skills. I'm gonna see how far that they've taken me. I don't know. Uh, fix that, fix that. Oh, you get back there. You get over there. Uh, you two fix that too. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. You guys are still beat up. What the heck? Stop dying. Good. Okay, go back. Alright, so this next beacon is going to be, uh, star, uh, so this is gonna be my last beacon of the episode, um, ooh, inside this nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space, on its surface a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye, Zoltan Elder, as Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet, through luck or intent, you have discovered the great eye, look into its depths, and receive your just deserts. Does, okay. Well, the ship mm. Your approach and an alien voice speaks to you. Your mission has brought you great battles and great losses. This will help ease the pain. Yes! Oh, a few minutes later, someone reports that drone schematic has miraculously appeared on your ship's database. Okay, the hull repair drone. Like, I kind of would have preferred, like, a hull repair missile, but I will take that. 
Uh, this will save me many times later in the series, I swear. Uh, okay guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of The McWhiskers. If you liked this episode, please leave me a like, and if you really liked this episode and want more content, want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, anything you want to tell me, please put it down in the comment section below. Uh, thanks again guys for watching. This was The Whiskers. You guys have a good one. Peace out.